Hi, welcome to chapter four. We're going to talk today about water on Earth's surface, and in the next video, we'll talk about the water cycle. So water is really an essential element to Earth, and um, about 70% of Earth's surface is covered with water. Um, our water can be found in oceans, rivers, lakes. It can also be found underground in the form of groundwater and also in the form of ice in our glaciers and in our um, sea ice. Um, the hydrosphere is all of the water on Earth um, is part of this large system that we call the hydrosphere. So on Earth, we can see that Earth, water occurs in all three phases of matter. So um, the phases of matter are gas, liquid, and solid. And so water vapor exists in the atmosphere, and that's the gaseous form of water. There's liquid water in oceans, lakes, rivers, and in groundwater. Um, there is solid water in the ice caps and in the glaciers. And so we can see that the water exists on Earth in the hydrosphere um, in all three different phases of matter. So all of these different um, forms of water are part of the hydrosphere. So about 97% of Earth's water is salt water, and it's found in the oceans. If you took all of the water on Earth and you put it into one liter bottle, then only about 17 milliliters, just a tiny bit of that, would be fresh water. All right, so let's look a little bit closer at the distribution of water on Earth. So if you take this bar right here, let's just focus on this bar, we have the total water on Earth, right? So the total global water. About 96.5 or 97% of that is in the ocean. Um, a little tiny bit, about 1% of that is other kinds of salt water that you can find elsewhere other than the ocean. And then only 2.5%, just a tiny, tiny bit um, of the water on Earth is fresh, meaning that it doesn't have salt in it. All right, so if we take that blue cap right here, just this little 2.5% of the fresh water, and we split that up and we say, okay, where's the fresh water? Most of the fresh water exists as ice. So it exists in our glaciers and ice caps, about 70%. About 30% is underground as groundwater. And only like 1.2% is exists as surface and other kinds of fresh water. So if we take just that little tip right here, just the top of the of this column, the surface and other fresh water, and we say, okay, where is that fresh water? Well, we can find some of it in the atmosphere in the form of gaseous water, right? Water vapor. Some of it is in inside living things, inside their bodies, in in rivers, swamps, marshes, and some of it is in the moisture in our soil. Um, about 21% of it is in lakes, and then about 70% of it is frozen as ice or permafrost, all right? So what you should take away from this is most of the water on Earth is salty water. Just a tiny bit of it is fresh water. And most of that fresh water is locked up in the glaciers, all right? So most of our fresh water is in the glaciers and in the ice caps. And then another big chunk of it is in the groundwater. And we just have a tiny bit of fresh water that's actually available at our surface. Okay, so we have surface water. That's water that collects on the ground. So that's oceans, lakes, rivers, streams, and reservoirs. A reservoir, again, is a protected artificial or natural lake that's used to store water. So surface water occurs at the surface. All right, what is a glacier? Well, a glacier is a giant mass of ice that forms on land when snow and ice accumulate, so they build up faster than they melt. So snow falls down and it packs down and that snow um, takes longer to melt than it does to accumulate. And so what you see over time is a building up of um, glacial ice. So most of our fr fresh water is in the form of glacier ice. So again, we saw that the fresh water, if we looked at just the fresh water, that most of the fresh water is in the glaciers. All right. So then um, what about groundwater? So groundwater is water that collects underneath the ground, and it fills in all the spaces between the s particles of soil and rock. All right. The very top part of the groundwater, the highest level of the, ground of the groundwater, is called the water table. So um, some of the water on Earth's surface moves down through the soil to the water table. That's called percolation. It percolates through and fills up all these spaces. And it basically forms this groundwater. And then the top uppermost part of the groundwater is called the water table. 
All right, so here's another view of the water table and groundwater. So when you dig a well, you have to dig down into the groundwater past the water table um, in order to be able to access water. So as our water table drops, which is one of the things that's happening um, all over the earth, but particularly in California, our water table is dropping um, because we're, we're in a really terrible drought. And so we're accessing the water underneath the groundwater more and more. What we're seeing is the water table is dropping. When that happens, you need to dig deeper wells and basically you deplete the groundwater um, because the groundwater can take millions of years to sort of uh, uh, recollect. All right. So then um, I just wanted to focus a little bit on why wa Earth is so special. So Earth is really special because it has this unique temperature range that allows it to have water on Earth exist in all three phases. We talked about the liquid, solid, and gas forms of water and where they are in the hydrosphere. Um, so mercury is either too cold or too hot for, for liquid water to exist. Um, Venus is just too hot. Mars is too cold, right? But the Earth is just right for liquid water to exist, and that is a really special um, thing. And that really is because Earth is not too close or too far away from the sun. It is in this what we call this Goldilocks zone. And so if Earth was too close to the sun, so we're imagining the sun would be here. This is Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus. And so the sun would be here. If Earth was closer to the sun, then we would see that all the water would boil and it would become gaseous water and, and it would be in the form of water vapor in our atmosphere. And, and if all of the water, uh, if, the, if the Earth was further away from the sun, then all of the water would be solid. It would be frozen water. But since we're in this Goldilocks zone that's neither too close nor too far away from the sun, we have um, this really special case where we have liquid water. Um, and so um, one of the reasons why water is, is so useful is that it's called the universal solvent. And it's called that is because it can dissolve so many different things. Um, so water can dissolve nutrients in food. It can dissolve gases like oxygen or carbon dioxide. And also it can dissolve minerals found in rocks. So water can actually change Earth's surface by dissolving and wearing down rocks. So that's what we see here. We have these water molecules that are um, that are basically dissolving the minerals in this rock. So all known life as we know it requires water. The human body is about 60 to 75 percent water. In this picture it says about 72 percent. Um, and so life as we know it requires water and it requires liquid water. When you eat food, the water in your body dissolves nutrients and they can be carried throughout your bloodstream. Um, and so liquid water is really essential to all the processes we know um, that are required for life. Um, so water is essential to life on Earth not only because you need it inside your body, but also you need it in order to grow the things that you need to keep your body working, right? So you need water to grow food. So water is necessary for all forms of agriculture and farming. Water is needed to grow green for bread and to grow fruits and vegetables. And it's also used in, the in many different types of industries and businesses and also in many ways in your home. So I hope that you uh, got a sense of where water is found on Earth and that liquid water is a really special aspect to our planet. And liquid water is essential to life. And um, you got a sense of where we can find water on Earth. All right, we're going to finish up here. That was the end of the 4.1 video lecture. And I'll see you at our next class period. Thank you very much.